So today on the feed, German, Germans, Germans. And when I got here to Germany, there were like no flags and there's still no flags outside. Like can't see any at the houses around here. So when Germans are watching like the Olympics, they don't like root for like the Germany team. They're just kind of like, there's some athletes. They just don't care. When Germans come to America, they probably think we're like crazy. Like we have like a problem. Actually, no, they already think we have a problem with America. But aside from that point, step out of the door in America and there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty flags just like on your street. And then you get to school, you walk into the school doors, and then you pledge your allegiance to a flag and, and the nation for which it stands. But you're pledging your allegiance to a piece of fabric. Like Ger Germans don't understand that at all. And actually, I don't really understand it. It's kind of weird. Then later in the afternoon, you, you go to a sporting event and then... Everyone stands up before the game and you sing your national anthem for the entire world to hear. And all the days we have in America, we have days to celebrate the veterans, we celebrate the founding of our country, and now we have a day of patriotic devotion, which honestly I intend to wholeheartedly celebrate because I've never heard anything like more American than that. It's ridiculous. I'm doing it. In addition to our holidays, even our culture is really American. We eat copious amounts of fast food. We fight and die over politics. We have like 20 activities in the school that you can do. We're loud and we drink a lot of root beer. The Germans don't like root beer at all. In addition to all of this, we listen to musicals about our forefathers like it's freaking religion. Like, I bet you, I will bet you 20 euros they have never ever made a musical about Wilhelm I. Period. Now there's a good reason that Germany doesn't have a lot of nationalism, because the last time that happened they, they made Germany first, they blocked all the foreigners out, they invaded Poland, and then destroyed Europe, including Germany. Now what I find interesting is what Germans did when they got rid of nationalism, just threw it out the door. They went from a mess of fascism and communism, and they went on to build the greatest diplomatic organization the world has ever seen, the European Union. For my American users, let me break down how cool the, the European Union is. They went from like 22 currencies or something, now they only got one. Like, I can go to France, and I can just buy whatever I want there, I can come back, I don't have to do any money exchanges, period. I just got euros all day long, euros for days. So far, since the European Union was made, we haven't had like any tragic European wars. Like working out pretty good to have a bunch of friends rather than a bunch of tense separate countries. Didn't go well. Another thing is that the politics here is so much different. You have no idea. They actually pay more attention to American politics, I think, than German politics. German politics, they just kind of read and they're like, George wants to do this. Uh, do, okay, I'm not voting for George. That's it. But in America? It's like reality TV, like it's freaking like Survivor. Let's, let's say we got Jill, we got Jill here. Now, if Jill doesn't win, you're gonna be freaking devastated. You know why? You know why? It's because Margo over there is hoarding all the freaking coconuts. How could you have a coconut hoarder become the freaking president of the United States? You know what I mean? I would bet you none of the Americans have looked up either Margo's tax plan or Jill's experience with foreign policy or any of that. No. They just, they, they are dead set on making sure that coconut hoarder never gets into office. Now, I could talk about this all day, but I would risk going over my uh, four minute self-imposed uh, time limit I have on everything I'm putting on this channel. So I'm going to cut it off there. Uh, go ahead and go in the comments, tell me what you thought, tell me what I might have gotten wrong. I am not checking all of the facts, I'm just rambling. Uh, subscribe, like, and that's all I've got today. I will catch you in the next one.